Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I will show you and review these tennis shoes from Mizuno and these are the Wave Exceed SL2s. So look familiar? Yeah, they are kind of similar to the Wave Exceed Tour 4s but they look a little bit different also although they utilize all the premium technologies like the tour version and are cheaper so guys if you want some nice club level and advanced level tennis shoes obviously for clay give these shoes a shot so guys stay tuned Game. so these Mizunos replaced my Wilson Chaos Swift shoes I used last season. These were great shoes, one of the best shoes I've ever played in. But I always want to try something new and as you might know Mizuno is really now on top uh, level of tennis shoe with the Wave Exceed Tour 4 and now the Wave Exceed Tour 5 that is coming out at this moment but are these uh, let's say more uh, club level oriented tennis shoes worth the money because they are cheaper quite quite a lot cheaper than the tour version and they actually use all the same all the same technologies like the tour version but in a little bit different package with a different little bit different upper so uh, let's talk a little bit about the specs of these shoes because at first I bought a larger version of these shoes which was the US 11 and a half and UK 11 and a half uh, and UK 10 and a half but when I tried them one hour I realized that they were too big so I need to order these uh, half uh, size smaller tennis shoes and they run just okay so in the size US 11 and UK 10 and Euro 44 and half and in centimeters it's 29 centimeters I usually wear 28 and half or 29 centimeters shoes uh, these weight around 360 gram which is not bad so they are light but are they super light or, or let's say ultra light no because these Wilsons in the same size they are around 330 grams so there is a 30 gram difference and as you know I'm a very nimble light guy and I crave for the lightest tennis shoes possible but I just decided to try something new even if it is a little bit heavier uh, when I first tried these shoes what struck me the most was the the inside the inside cushioning or, or the the inside of the shoe the 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 foam because it is so smooth usually this part the inside part of the shoes is made of a uh, very soft material but not as soft as in these shoes so if you touch this part it's really so smooth and so silky it's uh, I didn't I didn't actually uh, played in any similar tennis shoes before with uh, so much let's say inside cushioning so the cushioning inside the shoe and all all the the right word is padding goes throughout the shoe inside even in the front part of the shoe so when you slide in when you put your feet into the shoe you are like wow these are super super comfortable the comfort is just outstanding it's outstanding uh, but there are also negatives that comes with the comfort because 
I want to feel the surface. I want to feel the clay. I want to feel when I change uh, the, the, the movement. I want to feel the acceleration. And the more padding in the shoe, the, let's say, uh, slower the reaction. Because if you try to really move fast in this type of shoe, in this comfort-oriented shoe, then it will take some time uh, after the shoe actually reacts to your movement because your foot collides with all the cushioning inside the shoe, then everything bends and after that the energy is transferred to the move. But if I compare it with the Wilson tennis shoe with the Cow Swift I played the previous season. So there is almost no cushioning. The upper is thin as like one or maybe two millimeters. It's thin like, like paper. It's just nothing. You just feel, feel this upper like second skin. So the move, the transfer of the energy in this shoe is immediate. There is no delay because you just uh, let's say sprint for the ball and the energy is exactly and immediately transferred uh, to the shoe. So that's the biggest difference. So I feel like these Wilsons they are more performance oriented and at the end much faster. Maybe at the cost of a little bit less comfort but anyways the Wilson were great with the comfort but these Mizunos, they aim mainly for the comfort. So that's the negative thing. And what I did to, um, let's say, a uh, little bit, feel a little bit more tight in these shoes and not so, let's say, not so loose and not so, let's say, super soft. What I did for my last match, because I played three matches in these shoes and few practices, what I did I just put at first on my feet this thin sock and then I use a regular tennis sock. So uh, I filled the shoe a little bit more with an, let's say, extra layer to feel more snug. So the shoe uh, puts a little bit higher pressure on my foot and uh, the reaction time is after that is a little bit better. So yeah, one more thing that adds to the comfort but lacks the performance is the insole. So guys, this insole from Mizuno in this particular shoe, look at that. It's so soft. It's so soft and it's super cushioned. And I have to say I don't like that because the shoe itself is super cushioned, it has super padding, everything feels smooth and nice. And this is once again so soft that, it, that you feel in the shoe like you are uh, drowning in some soft material and once again it takes away the feel for the core. So, so maybe after some time I will replace this, um, this um, insole because it, it is really, as you can see, uh, it doesn't really support your foot inside the shoe. It just adds another layer of comfort which you don't actually need. So yeah, this is something I want to, to really stress out. If you want some performance outsole, just buy new outsole or sorry, insole for this shoe. And yeah, that's second thing I didn't like about this shoe. But otherwise, all the technologies, they are the same for, oh, I will put it correctly after the video. So uh, all the technologies for these shoes are the same as for the uh, Exit Tour version so they are i believe seven seven really premium technologies the upper is although is different compared to the tour version it has this uh, let's say uh, mesh layer that is a little bit reinforced 
but it's super comfortable the break in is immediate no problem with that and inside of on the uh, middle side of the shoe there is this let's say uh, guard for your for the inside of the shoe and it goes well around the shoe around the, the front part of the shoe so I, th I believe these shoes will actually last quite long and the durability will be okay what I like is the lacing system because there are one two three four five six seven seven holes for the laces and usually when I buy a tennis shoe I use all the holes for the laces because I want to feel really uh, snug in the shoe I want to feel protected great thing about this shoe overall is the cushioning it is the pound pound cushioning from Mizuno and they also use the Mizuno wave technology with this uh, let's see anti-torsion system so everything is actually similar or or the same as for the tour version except the upper is different so all the technologies and the outsole is the same and as you can see the outsole pattern is really is really aggressive one of the most aggressive outsoles on a tennis shoe for a clay court and it is kind of similar to the bubble at tennis shoes and they use the Michelin rubber for that purpose but this is also a special rubber compound I think it is called X10 and as you can see it is really aggressive one thing that is a little bit different from maybe other clay tennis shoes is that the the pattern or the the herring bones on these tennis shoes are really let's say uh, edgy and they are but at the same time they are kind of soft that you can really when you touch them and you push on them you can feel that they are moving a little bit on the other shoes they are let's say on this wells and tennis shoe they are much thicker and harder so maybe i like the harder herringbone pattern a little bit better because it grips at the end a little bit better but once again the comfort might be uh, not so good as as for these shoes so uh, guys these shoes are really interesting but the only downside especially for me is that they lack the let's say the finest the super performance of a similar weighted tennis shoes due to the extra comfort so i i'm a person that that doesn't really need the superb comfort in a tennis shoe but i need a decent amount of comfort but then i need uh, very very much i need the um, the feel for the court and with this this massive padding inside out of the tennis shoe and even the tongue is really massively padded i don't get that feel so i feel a little bit sluggish in these shoes but i have to say it's getting a little bit better and better uh, uh, one hour after an hour when i play with these shoes and as i said before when i added the extra slim uh, sock to my feet i feel like the shoe is a little bit more snug and it reacts to my movement a little bit better but anyway if you want a tennis shoe that has super super uh, comfort super great comfort that uh, has no break in looks really nice i think that the design looks really nice it's light uh, it looks like a classic tennis shoe nothing really from the future uh, it has great torsion system it has great outsole that grips really well it is a fast shoe quite stable i'm surprised that it is so stable and it just works so i would rate 
this tennis shoe maybe eight out of ten in the overall on the overall scale so the comfort is superb it's it's 10 but maybe the performance is, is for me like i said before it's too comfy and maybe the performance is like six or seven out of ten compared to other high performance tennis shoes so guys if you are on the club level player or advanced level player definitely give these shoes a try because they are cheaper than the tour uh, than the exceed tour and they maybe will for some players be more comfortable and if you like the comfort if you like all the cushioning and all the padding inside the shoes they, these just work great so i will be using these throughout my entire clay season and if i found something that is not particularly uh satisfying or some problem with these shoes i will definitely let you know and i will probably buy some new shoe but for this time uh at the first time i was kind of disappointed but now i'm getting into it and i'm starting liking these shoes a little bit more and what i like also is that the upper is is really good uh, has good breathability so maybe compared to other shoes that doesn't use so much mesh they use the reinforcement uh, and they feel like they are closed they don't breathe that much so these shoes are really nicely breathable so for the summer clay season they are great so guys uh, let me know in the comments what clay shoes or what shoes for this season did you buy what are you looking for when you search for a tennis shoe is it comfort is it performance is it the style is it the look or is it just a mixture of everything or do you like the, do you crave for uh, durability do you value more durability than the actual let's say comfort do you value uh, the light weight or do you like more bulky tennis shoes like the barricades from adidas what do you like guys so uh, tell me in the comments and if you like this review just give a thumbs up i will highly appreciate it if you didn't give thumbs down of course you can and if you like my channel very much you can support it by buying me a coffee the link is in the description below and i will highly appreciate your coffee so guys thank you for watching and don't forget to enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day subscribe to my channel comment share and i will catch you in my future video thanks for watching bye guys You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line!